question we are supposed to verify uh, true or false these false statements so let's just go about um, trying them so for statement a we are interested in the reason across bc so across bc right we see that it's actually um, 2r in parallel with r in parallel with another 2r so what will happen well we can consider right 2r in parallel with 2r first 2r with 2r right um, that will give us r effective of uh, half of 2r so it's 2r upon 2 so that's r then right you compare this uh, r with this r okay so they are in parallel again so r effective final right oh, will be equals to r upon 2 so is that true uh, yes, it is true. Statement B. If right, um, in addition to the AC, you add another resistor in parallel, so you are making right uh, one more resistor here. Okay, that will make this one right the R effective even smaller. So no doubt, okay, because you are making uh, additional path available for current to flow. Any additional path right, in parallel will always lead to resistance becoming smaller. So statement B is correct also. Statement C, um, resistance measured across AD is 1. So is it true? Uh, well, it is. Because if you redraw, you will look like this. Um, 2R on top, 2R below, in between them, this guy. So let's consider right what's the effect of this guy by ignoring him first. Here right you have R and here is R. Um, suppose right the potential here is called V and here is zero. Okay. Then here will be V over two and here will be V over two as well. Thus right, even if you put something across, it doesn't matter. No current will flow. Because the potential is the same across both points. Thus, uh, the R effective right, is simply equivalent to just R effective for this circuit, which is equal to just uh, R. Okay, so C is also true. What about D? Um, resistance across AD will become smaller if you add a zero resistance wire across BC. Um, so, putting this wire across here right, uh, will turn this circuit right into This circuit instead, okay. And with the resistance change, well, here right you have R upon two, here will be R upon two in series with each other, so sum up to be R. So it will still be one ohm, it wouldn't be smaller. So this statement is false.